Hey guys, Amic Zero with another unboxing video for uh, what I bought on my 18th birthday. In my last video I showed you I got the Canon Rebel T3i. Um, I also picked up with that the Zoom H2 Handy Recorder. Um, this is not their newest microphone. Their newest microphone is about $100 more. There wasn't a massive difference between the two, but I'll go over a little bit more what I think about this um, after we unbox this guy. So. Let's see what's in here. Now, I've already seen tons of YouTube reviews. I'm sure this, if you're looking for this, this is not your first one. So, I will be doing some tests and I'll tell you what I found out from uh, my research, which is what I hope you're looking for. So, let me get that all out. Alright, so in the box we get, actually, not sure what this is, some kind of pouch. Yep, it's a pouch, a pouch to carry it in. Alright, the actual device itself, obviously, this is actually very light very light. Um, I expected it's made of plastic. Alright, so this is much, much lighter than I expected it to be. Um, it feels cheap, actually. I'm, I mean, I know I heard that in reviews, but this is... It wasn't exactly cheap in price, but it, it definitely feels kind of like Toys R Us plastic. Like, old toy plastic. But let's, let's take a look. Oh yeah, this isn't... Alright. So, what I thought was metal... It's very cheap, very, very light, like almost no weight at all. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what, this is actually kind of disappointing. For how much you spend for this, uh, it, it feels very cheap, but I've heard the quality and the quality says it's amazing. Alright, here we have a wind, wind filter, windscreen, just your, your foam screen. Uh, no dead cat, I think. Let's take a look. Some headphones for the audio out. USB cable, mini USB to regular USB. Okay. Um, audio jack out for left and right speaker. Uh, the mic pole, I assume. Yep, the microphone pole, so you can use it like an interview mic. A one gig SD card. That's that's a nice feature to include, and a table stand. So, first impressions, I'm actually really, I'm not finding this very uh, impressive. I feel like I'm going to break this. Alright, now we're okay. So, everything's made of a very cheap plastic, it's painted silver, that seems, uh, it's it seems like cheap plastic, really. Uh, it looks like metal, but when you pay that much for something, you kind of expect better construction. But, like I said, I've heard uh, on YouTube that this sounds really, really nice. So, what kind of battery? They didn't include batteries? Oh, wait, there's still a box in here I haven't opened. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look. I'm assuming this is a little too big to be batteries. Oh, a charger. Okay, so does it take batteries and a charger? I noticed there's no, up. Oh, again, I spoke too soon, there is reading material. So, it looks like you can charge it or have batteries, or maybe you can plug it in and use it, or run it uh, on batteries off-site. So, let's see what this is. All right, just advertisements, operation manual, warranty information, which might not be a bad idea depending on how much it costs since it's made of this cheap plastic, I have no idea how much this costs, but I will actually look into that. Actually, where I bought this, I bought the warranty there, so I don't have to worry about that. And it cost me nothing, too. So, um, well, there's there's the thing. If the store, I won't, I, I'll try not to advertise. The store that I bought this at offered a protection plan on it that was fairly cheap, and I wasn't sure about it, but I bought it anyway. And now that I see that it's made this plastic, I'm really glad I bought it, because it was very, very cheap coverage, and I think I got it for two years so I don't know if this will last two years to be honest all right so I'm gonna set this up try it out and I'll do some tests all right so I have the zoom h2 on a tripod right below me below the camera where you would have it if you were recording this type of video it's plugged into the wall AC or you can put batteries and keep it <clears throat> uh, mobile so what I'm noticing is um, well one it's a little confusing this is actually my second time shooting this um, if you press record once it will make the microphone active so that you can listen to it with headphones. Um, press record again, 
uh, and it'll actually start recording. So when you're listening with headphones, you're listening for like, um, if you're at the right mic gain, there's high, medium, and low. Um, I'm wondering if, if you plugged an auxiliary from the mic gain, uh, from where you're the first recording into the T3i, so when you can monitor it, I'm wondering if you could do a direct line in like that, but also I'm not sure if that's at full quality anyway. So we're testing this out inside with all my electronics off so that there should be no buzzing, the fans off so there should be no wind, the wind filter is not on. Um, so you're hearing from the, the Zoom H2 right now, now I'm going to switch over to the Kodak ZI8's internal audio. So what you're hearing now is what uh, you would normally hear from my Kodak ZI8. I'm not sure if there'd be a huge difference right now. The ZI8 has actually fairly good sound when you're close up. Um, so I'm going to switch back to the zoom now. Okay, so basically what I'm noticing is there's ups and downs. One is in order to sync this up, I have to do to like a clapboard like you would have to do with old cameras that didn't have microphones. Um, because it's external so that's expected but it is kind of a downfall that it doesn't have direct mic in now the H4 does but it's also a hundred dollars more um, what else I'm noticing that I kind of like is that it's showing me audio levels uh, right on the front screen so I can see the louder I get the levels go up so I can tell if uh, I'm gonna peek out the microphone or anything like that um, Downside, I mean, yeah, everything like that. The upside is um, if I'm recording something further away, uh, I can get the sound from whatever's over where I want you to hear, not where the camera is. Um, so if you have like a telephoto lens on your camera and you're actually recording something way out somewhere, if you can get the microphone over there, you're getting the sound that you should be hearing rather than the sound you would hear with the internal mic. Um, I, I don't think it's constructed very well, but like I said, I bought a protection plan with mine that was really, really cheap, and if in two years something happens, I'm going to go back. I did notice with the SD card door, it's made awful. Like, I know I'm going to break that SD card uh, latch. It's, I almost did just now. The other thing is, because it doesn't open all the way, getting the SD card out without fingernails is really difficult. Um... Now, my room is the hottest room in the house. I am actually sweating a little bit. So, I'm going to turn my fan on at full blast like I always do and put on the wind filter so you can see what that would sound like. Okay, so now the fan is on full blast with the wind filter on. So, what you're hearing now is what you would kind of hear on a light breeze um, outside. Now, right now, it's not very breezy outside, so I didn't figure there'd be much justice in going out there. So light breeze, you might even hear the motor a little bit. I'm going to be quiet for a minute to let you listen. That's hammering going on outside. Now since this is a directional 90 degree angle from the front and 120 on the back, maybe you didn't hear that or maybe it was very quiet because it might have bounced off. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to the ZI8 uh, so you can hear the wind and maybe the hammering outside. Okay, so that's what we're going to kind of judge this by. Um, was it worth the amount of money I spent? I don't know, because I haven't actually listened to it on post yet. Uh, I can tell you I got a very bad impression from the, uh, what do you call it, plastic material that it's made of. Also, the buttons are not responsive. They're kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe these buttons. Like, uh, portable DVD players have these. They're like um, a hammering. They don't click. They're just kind of little bubbles in plastic that you kind of depress down. Um, there's no clicking, so you don't really feel like... I don't know. I don't like to be this guy. But you don't know if you've clicked it until the menu actually does something. It's it's not as well as an actual click button. Uh, I just prefer them. So I'm going to go edit this together in post and I'll blow it so you guys can hear what it sounds like, so I can hear what it sounds like, and uh, we'll see if uh, see what we think about that, so I'm gonna leave that up to you. All right, guys, remember to subscribe, um, join the Facebook, the Twitter, all that good stuff. All the links are in the description. I'll see you guys next time.